morning. Morning. What's up to? I'm making us some scrambled eggs for breakfast. Oh. Yeah. And coffee. And some coffee. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Got all of our food just in our car and then we have a tiny little stove. Um, it's quite windy so we're putting this up to block the wind. Yeah. Making and it work. Making it work. Yeah. We can't have too much stuff that goes off because we don't have a fridge or anything, but it's kind of working. Yeah. And this is where we're sleeping. Um, so I turned the back uh, cabin thing into a bed by putting... Uh, We've got a little mattress here that we put lengthways and then we put like, I don't know, five blankets to even it out here. Yeah. But it works out as a nice comfy bed. And then at night this will light up. It's just cool. <laughs> and we've had a lot of bugs so we've also had to put this mosquito net um, all throughout the night. But that was probably the best buy yet. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually really comfortable. Mm. It's super dirty but, and then these windows will, we can open up. so. Okay, you want to stay down. <laughs> yeah. Cool. This is car life. <laughs> yeah. A little bit of a downgrade from van life, except that we can do a four wheel drive. Yeah, how do you like the four wheel driving? I'm still getting used to it. I just don't understand like how a car can do that. You're doing pretty well. We haven't crashed yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but I don't need to crash because I've never been this car. It's windy today. We have a spoon. Yum. We have fancy meals out here. Yeah, five star camp cooks. Yeah. We don't mess around. No? Oh yeah. Look at those juicy eggs in there. So yellow. Your favorite. That's why I have yellow feet. <laughs> I ate so much turmeric. <laughs> That's what Ryan tells me. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are yellow. Can you see? No, they're black. And then it's all about the toppings. This is what I've learned from Ryan. What do we got going on here? Got on top. Nutritional yeast. For the birds? <laughs> Coconut shells? Good old American ranch. Good old ranch. Vegan kind for our vegan eggs. <laughs> I think we're kind of out. Do things a bit differently here in the NT. You stand on the tables. <laughs> <laughs> termite mound that I'm gonna knock over. <laughs> <laughs> Go get a run up. Okay. Tackle it. Okay. 
took years and years for them to make this thing, but I'm gonna knock it over. <laughs> How many termites do you think it took to make this thing? Um, just one. <laughs> yeah, just one. Just it, one. It likes a big house, big mansion. Yep. Got a little swimming pool out the back. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can we have a tour, please? Maybe we should make him a swimming pool Can out the back. Can you let us in? Can we have a tour? <laughs> <laughs> I want a tour. Where's the door? It's beautiful in here. <laughs> so, um, this is the, well, the chimney. Uh -huh. Yep, the chimney's up here. That's where they light the fire. And then over here, um, this is the entrance to the house. They won't let us in though. Yep. Open up! <laughs> and over here we have the garden. They just have one tree. Oh. Yeah. It's actually the Christmas tree. Well, I like what they've done with the place. Yeah. Good job, guys. No, they are. They'll go out foraging for food during the night. Well, are we like disrupting their sleep? Yeah. <laughs> they see you as a predator. What if I climb the tree? They'll definitely freak out. It's like flying rodents. Yeah. <laughs> this is so it's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. It's like really beautiful in a weird way. Yeah, it's super beautiful. I love that. Are you gonna play for them, Carson? Yep. Yeah. Call them the fuck man. State Forest. <laughs> what are we cooking? Uh, like a pesto pasta. Uh, and some wine. And some wine and veggies. And a cigarette. <laughs> Very unhealthy, but that's life, isn't it? That's <laughs> life. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Woo! Beautiful night at Kakadu. <laughs> yeah. A pasta nice. dinner. A little place to ourselves. Mm. <laughs>
crocodile safety. Freshwater crocodiles inhabit this area. So they can be aggressive. Enter the water at your own risk. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> You wanna go in? Hey. You wanna go in? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Over there's a crocodile trap. Oh. Wow. Well, they've got a beautiful home. <laughs> yeah. Come here, little crocodile. Come here. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like this is a popular photo spot. <laughs> Tyson and his hang drum. We are hiking to Jim Jim Falls, which is a two kilometer return hike to a giant waterfall. And so far it's super beautiful. We're just surrounded by massive rocks and some water. So it's supposed to be about a, I guess, two hour return walk. Almost there. to Kakadu National Park, an enormous biodiverse nature reserve in Australia's Northern Territory, believed to be one of the first areas settled by humans in Australia. The traditional owners being the Beninj and Mungoi people, who have lived in this country for over 60,000 years. Jim Jim Falls is the biggest waterfall here in Kakadu, at 200 meters tall. And it is believed that Kakadu sprawled out under a shallow sea 140 million years ago. The cliffs that you see there today were once sea cliffs. This is not just another adventure in Australia's stunning natural world. It's also a historic look at the country and how the landscapes may once have been, as this is some of the oldest landscapes in Australia. Friend Tyson playing the hang drum. <laughs> Bobby made it. <laughs> it's really echoing everywhere. So after wet season, the rangers come in and have to survey all the swimming holes and then remove any crocodiles that are in the swimming holes so people can come here and swim. That's kind of crazy. Can you imagine that as your job, yeah, going yeah. removing crocodiles? Yeah, well in those big traps you've seen before. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh yeah, you'd hope they didn't miss any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he's just hiding. Yeah. yeah. Man, we're the 
lot of people here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got muscle. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>